Hello Cutters and welcome to the, my walkthrough of the Heavy Cargo Mackerel with the new 0.1.4 patch of Hard Space Shipbreaker. In this patch the interior of the Mackerel ships got heavily reworked and every new of these ship, every type of these ships now has a distinct personality character and I'm going to guide you through this video to show you how to dismantle these ships and uh, to show you off what has changed. And if you like this kind of content, drop my channel a little subscription and you won't miss any future content. So first things first, we're just launching the antenna, and after that I'm entering that ship. Oh, there's one more antenna. Antennae are not really uh, that uh, exciting, but I really think they are the first step. They're like... Uh, Taking the bull's horns, you know. So let's uh, get into that airlock and enter the ship. So the outside of those ships hasn't changed too much. It's the uh, same old, same old. Um, but the interior is really cool and uh, reworked. So with the heavy uh, cargo ships, um, we now have that kind of design in here. So I'm going to depressurize that ship and open the airlock. And Air here you see uh, the complete interior featuring a lot more items than before. We even have a forklift in here, lots of barrels using fuel. The outside hull is immediately accessible. So it really looks like a ship where um, people try to maximize the cargo space as hard as possible. So let's uh, remove that bottom panel as, use, as we're used to. I used the uh, utility key here uh, on the computer console to remove the fuel out of the thrusters. The utility keys are uh, buyable at the kiosk. They weren't back in the days and uh, ever since then I feel like it's just making your life easier using them. Generator extraction via tether, safest way I know of and it's quite easy and quick to pull off. Um, so. The generator is not always at this spot anymore where we have it right now. There is a lot more variance nowadays. So um, searching the generator in your ship is certainly a part of the gameplay now. Uh, and you shouldn't expect to see the generator where you're uh, used to, to see it with the older patches. So taking that, that thruster cap almost tried to disintegrate it with my stinger, silly me. So, oh no, 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 don't go into the furnace. Um, the uh, thruster cap can be easily destroyed by uh, the split saw. That's why I use the um, stinger on that, because I don't want to lose these caps, because they're quite worth some penny. So there goes the thruster. And the work orders are now more, uh, reflecting uh, much stronger the type of ship you're dismantling right now. So here we have a lot of uh, jobs that are different than they were before. And overall, I, I didn't pay too close attention yet, but uh, from what I saw, it seems like the work orders now um, are paying much more attention towards what kind of ship you're uh, dislodging right now. So using one jack, uh, one tether to get that aft part, part of the ship towards the jacks, because uh, if you don't, there's a quite high risk of uh, your ship part getting uh, sucked into the furnace because. Oh well, it's just uh, gravity things, especially when the twin nacelles, uh, when the nacelles are living uh, there like this, it's especially dangerous. So the aft part of the ship is gone, now let's get over to the fuel uh, dislodging. So the fuel uh, valves here um, turn off those yellow lights, you see here now there's no more yellow lights on those pipes. Um, those yellow lights give you the sign if you laser me. I'm going to explode, so don't laser yellow uh, fuel pipes ever. And as soon as you've dislodged the uh, thingy there on the, the valve, the barrels get uh, are loosened and you can remove them. Always be very, very uh, careful with those barrels. They're highly explosive. If you chuck them uh, into a wall or something like that, they're going to explode the whole ship around you. And that's the uh, biggest... Um, difficulty about the uh, heavy cargo mackerels so far um, 
from my point of view because uh, design wise the heavy cargo mackerel is a lot more simple compared to the other mackerels because uh, you're not having any troubles with getting into the outer hull it's just accessible from the first uh, moment but there's so much explosives around you everywhere like there are uh, fuel barrels everywhere there's fuel pipes everywhere um, so overall I really feel like the real uh, difficulty lies uh, therein so the forklift I'm going to tether down there as well mainly because I lost one forklift uh, for uh, some reason I didn't understand so I'm using the split saw here again a little bit uh, more careful trying to uh, pay attention to uh, the vicinity here but uh, oh dear I think I destroyed no I didn't destroy the cargo hatch Oof. I just uh, noticed that uh, there's the cargo hatch here still around and uh, ah, I didn't destroy it nice so the cargo hatch is also a uh, a thing that's uh, showing up on the new work order table quite often I'm using the tethers here quite uh, um, often because I have to uh, move back to um, the kiosk quite soon anyways and uh, it's best to have used your tethers uh, completely when you have to re uh, return to the kiosk ideally you don't want to re you're returning to your kiosk because your O2 and your uh, tethers are running out at the same time but it's quite hard to pull off so um, you see here um, we're, we're really getting done with that ship so, um, like I said, it's uh, a lot more simple compared to the uh, other mackerels, in my opinion. Just watching that ship goes quite quickly, but it's at the same time very, very punishing if you do some kind of mistake. You've seen the sheer amount of uh, explosives in that ship, so that means if you blow up one thing, you're blowing up the whole thing. So. Uh, it's an interesting design because that means uh, the further you get, the less punishing it is if you do a mistake. But if you do your mistakes too early, you have to reset the whole ship, basically. Alright, so I have a few more uh, seconds of O2 left, so that's a good moment to uh, toss things into the barge. Just uh, to get some electrical done as well. So if you really want to go uh, efficient, I'd strongly suggest you only try to grab those things you really need for your uh, work orders. Don't get stuck with things which are not showing up on your work orders, like for example those seats. We don't have furniture on the uh, work order, so don't do it. Um, but that's only if you want to uh, knock off all work orders in one go then you should play like that. If you're just uh, salvaging like the like you want to earn some money as a cutter then you're of course uh, free to do as ever you please but I made the experience that uh, it's quite too tough to salvage everything and to knock off all the work orders in one shift because the amount of items just uh, got increased so hard with this new update. I mean I like that but uh, whatever. Um, but I'm pretty sure that there are speed players who are going to beat my uh, puny attempts here of clearing that quickly very easily. So there's storage bins in here, I'm just grabbing them to make sure everything uh, salvageable is removed out of the middle portion of that ship before I start dismantling that as well. Alright, so let's get started here. So since these uh, fuel switches are uh, quite desirable, I like to do the following, I dissolve the pipe junction with this finger, oops there was way more than I made it to, and uh, this uh, opens the flush switch and you can just uh, grab it, and uh, this way you have like a few more mechanical parts available. There we go. So again, dissolving that junction, and then you can grab the uh, flush switch. So next up are the nacelles. Um, they are always worth, worth quite some good penny. With hard difficulty you have to dislodge the piping here as well. So that's why it's very very important to uh, 
flush out the uh, pipe out of these, uh, flush out the fuel out of these pipes before doing that because they'll explode if you wanna laser them here if they're still full with fuel. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, there should be one more uh, connector. There we go. So one thing I immediately noticed with this new uh, patch there. Oh, gosh types of blocking me, um, was that I was using the Stinger way more than before. Uh, hello, Nasal. Where did you go, Nasal? Damn. Got the, uh, whatever. Um, it's just, uh, I'm just wondering where it, should, where it went off. Ah, there. So, already getting ha happily sucked into the furnace. Go here! That's why I didn't find it. Um, several people in the forums and in the Reddit already said that the furnace is, so way is, is having a too heavy suction, so... I can only agree on this. Alright, so since there is no more fuel here everywhere, anywhere, um, I have to be way less uh, worried about explosions. So that's why I uh, got rid of all the barrels I could in the beginning. So I can now use the way quicker, um, the way faster split saw a lot more. To uh, get rid of those things but in here you see there's still uh, work to do and there's still explosive things back there so uh, don't get too over ambitious there so that's the rest of the nacelles and uh, I struggled a lot um, with uh, finding the barge that was a real problem for me until I realized um, that blue planet is a good indicator if you're uh, having trouble just like me so there we go if you struggle with the question where uh, the barge is at just go for that blue planet there all right so I dismantled all these uh, thingies here so to get rid of that part of the ship Oh, well, I don't think I need to do it here. It looks quite dislodged already. So, uh, the really funny thing with these ships is, uh, if I did everything correctly here... Let's remove those as well. I can, uh, remove that whole thing in one go. If everything went correct there. So, let's see. Let's uh, tether that. Mm, yeah, there she comes. It's already moving. So you see here, those uh, pipe works uh, hold together the whole portion of the outer hull, and I, I really enjoy doing it like that. So the jacks here uh, is the perfect part to uh, lodge it onto, and once it's over there, I can safely just. Uh, toss it into the processors. And as you see here, uh, the whole uh, ship starts to move because uh, it's quite bare bones now, what we're uh, having here. So there we go. And I'm pretty sure if you would be uh, explaining less than I do here, um, you're, you're well able to uh, get that whole buffalo thing in one uh, session here. So with the rest of that, um, I don't even need to disassemble this here anymore. It's already pretty much disassembled, so we're going to toss that thing here into the uh, processor as well. So, there we go. Just want to show it once uh, how it's working without Jaxus to show you how good those Jaxus are for you. Like, here's a really large risk that those tethers uh, swing that thing into the furnace. And you really can't do much against that. Those furnaces uh, are well known to destroy large amounts of ships, just like I showed it to you there. Uh -oh. Wasting more money. Um, but let's see. Looks like this part here is getting saved. The tethers have all lost their uh, line of sight. 
so they're uh, not working here anymore. So it's quite clearly uh, noticeable how much more time I'm wasting here when I'm not using the jacks to do that. So just wanted to uh, showcase this a little bit here. You see, it's slowly going into the processor, but it was way easier when we did it the other way around. So 2.1 million during that shift. You see there's a quite good uh, buck to break. I'm going into that uh, ship one more time to uh, show off the last few things because uh, we're not quite done yet. But we're almost done. So what's left now is uh, merely the cockpit section. But this is uh, not as uh, uninteresting as it might look like. So get right into there. So in this, this cockpit section now we're having a lot of uh, beautiful other things lying around. For example the power cell and as you see here the power cell blew up the coolant cell. This is uh, because of the electric arcs uh, sent out by the uh, power cell. This is uh, quite unfortunate but well you could try to remove the coolant cell beforehand but I was uh, now deciding to don't try that. So overall, now uh, both sections of the ship went into the processor. Use those jaxes if you are in the same mom uh, in the same situation as I were here. And here, this is just uh, just the rest of the cockpit. Um, of course, you should salvage the rest of these uh, terminals and and such to uh, knock off the last few of the work orders. But um, the last thing we're going to do now would be to uh, tether that beast into the processor. I'm just uh, doing this to finish this uh, work session off. Um, this was uh, quite some good fun. If you have anything to add there to this, if you have spotted anything I have missed, I'm really eager to hear from you guys. So drop me a comment down below if there's anything on your mind. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy the new patch as much as I do. I feel like I'm having such a blast with those uh, low-level um, ships again. So uh, yeah, hope you guys join in for the other ship types as well. I'm going to make videos for those too. And until then, enjoy the ship breaking, have a good time, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.